Hello friends. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about static methods in interfaces. As I discussed in my previous tutorial, that Oracle made fundamental changes to interfaces in Java 8. Apart from all the abstract methods earlier, now the interface can define methods which has default implementation. If you have not seen the video on default methods in interfaces, please see the earlier video. Let's recap what we have learned till now. We learned that interfaces are contracts. They have a set of method signatures and they could also have constant declarations. We learned that if there was any constant declared in an interface, they are by default implicitly public, static and final. And then we also saw that we can extend the interfaces. Like if I have an interface Super Mario, it can extend Mario and Fighter interface and all the method signatures that were defined in Mario and Fighter will be inherited in Super Mario. And then we saw the default methods in Java interfaces. Why are default methods required is explained in detail in previous tutorial, but I would just touch upon that default methods helped us to actually ensure the backward compatibility of the Java libraries, right? Now we are going to learn static methods. So what are static methods? Static methods are essentially the utility methods which can be added to Java interfaces, right? Earlier, before Java 8, whenever someone needed to add the utility methods, then we had to create a separate class to hold all those static methods. Now recall the interviewer interface that we introduced in our earlier classes. There we had a method. We had a method where a manager can take interviews. So he was implementing the interviewer interface. And we want that a manager should not spend his time interviewing whole day. So I have a constant max interviews per week as three. And then there is only one method signature, void interview. So with Java 8, now you can add static methods to an interface also. Prior to Java 8, interfaces were not allowed to define static methods. In such a case, what would you do? You would need to define this required static methods in a separate class. Now this is one of the main reasons why static methods have been allowed in the interfaces. Now this is to improve the existing classes. One of the classic example is collections API, which included few classes uh, just to define the static methods. Like the collections classes had so many static methods on top of collection interfaces and their implementations. Let's understand the concept of static methods using very simple example of uh, uh, interviewer and manager. So if I have a, a static method in an interface called interviewer, how would, you, how would you provoke or how would you invoke such a method? In order to invoke a static method in an interface, you will use interface name dot method. In this case, you would use interviewer dot schedule meeting. Right now, let's say I have an I have a interface called interviewer, and I want to add a static method to it. And the static method is to schedule the meeting given number of hours. Our manager class implements this interface, and then I can call the schedule meeting using interviewer interface object. Let me show you this 
Now here I have a interviewer interface which has a variable max interviews per week and then a single method interview and then my manager class actually implements this interviewer interface. He says that I am a manager and I am hiring for my team. This is what I am doing as part of interview. And then in the program Java, we are creating an instance of manager and we are using a reference variable of type interviewer interface. And then I can call interviewer.interview. If you execute this, you will see the output. I am a manager. I am hiring for my team. This implementation was provided by manager class because it was implementing the interviewer interface. Now I want to add a static method to interviewer interface which is static and it will take a parameter of type int and it will print booked room for so and so hours. Now if I want to invoke this before the interview is happening, I should be able to book room. So I can say interviewer dot schedule meeting for two hours. Are you, are you able to see how we are using and invoking the static methods? If I execute it, I will see that first a room is booked and then the interview happens. So with the help of static interface methods, you are able to define the utility methods in the interface that they belong to. Right? Here the method schedule meeting is invoked by calling the interface name. So Java 8 introduced static methods to allow keeping of utility methods within the interfaces. And this was avoiding creation of separate classes for static methods. I gave you the example of collections utility class. One important point to remember is static methods in interfaces are not related to methods in classes implementing that interface. And as such, they do not hide or override the static method defined in the interface. What I mean here is, if you have a method called schedule meeting in an interface which is static in nature, and if you have similar uh, method in the class that is implementing that interface, then the method which is defined in the class will neither hide nor overwrite the static method implementation in the interface. Because if you want to call the static method defined in an interface, you would use the reference variable of type interface. And if you want to invoke the static method implementation in the implementing class, then you would use the reference variable of type, which is the class implementing the interface. Right? So in this tutorial, we understood what are static methods. We learned what is the purpose of static methods and we also saw the demo. In our next tutorial, we are going to know about multiple inheritance in Java and why it is not supported. So stay tuned. Let's see you in next tutorial. Goodbye.